Good afternoon. It's just a little bit after 12 o'clock here on the southern coast line down here in Costa Mesa, California. Southern California. Um, pretty nice out here in the shop today. We're having a nice day. Probably about 19 degrees Celsius out there. So not cold. And uh, I don't have any heat here so the uh, <laughs> it's nice when the temperatures are warm. Um, so I've been working on a little jig um, to use with the hand shaper uh, in order to cut star wheels using the hand shaper. I know I made a recent video showing how to do that um, with a rotary table and a little micro mill and and some other paraphernalia but um, uh, we're getting down to basics now. I know I made a remark in that video that uh, if you didn't have all that paraphernalia you could just do it with your hand shaper. Um, uh, I am feeding, I am using the automatic feed but you can feed by hand, uh, you can do this. All, all it takes is a few simple scraps uh, around the shop to to get going here. Nothing nothing very complicated, believe me. Um, let me zoom in on the little fixture I created. And um, pretty simple, just a block of aluminum is all it is. And, um, and uh, I used a, I bored a hole through it <coughs> and put an arbor through there. It spins around in the hole. Um, I slit. I made a slit with the bandsaw on one side of the uh, one side of the block. And put a couple 1032 screws through through there to so I can lock the the arbor in place. Um, <clears throat> on the other side of the block, I drilled a couple holes through there and countersank sank them in. So you need a drill press for all that, but uh, or or some other way to to drill some holes, but. Um, I created a little uh, phenolic um, wheel that that uh, goes on the back of the arbor uh, with th in this case 12 holes um, and uh, I create a little ledge in the block of aluminum to to indicate against so uh, you can use anything doesn't matter I just that was just convenient for me and then the um, in my case uh, this this little hand shaper is uh, sort of a copy of the rapid lime shaper but I made it 0.8 scale so it's it's a little more than three-quarter scale so the in this case the um, the star wheel is an inch and three-eighths so if you have a regular lime shaper probably the star wheel maybe I, I don't know what it is but I'm guessing it's around 1.7 inches or uh, something of that effect um, and uh, so anyway the process is the same the star wheel is just slightly smaller in my case but that doesn't really make any difference and um, so I you just make a blank up and uh, it goes on the front of the arbor and um, so that's it and I'm just I'm, I'm on the second tooth so I got I got this tooth plus another 10 to go so I'm not gonna make all these on on video but um, I'll go ahead and make some cuts here and I'm not sure whether I'm gonna I am sitting kinda low on a stool here to try to to see because um, I've got a stop set up uh, you can't see it but it's on the other side so I'm watching that stop so what I'm doing is I'm feeding across uh, to, to, till I get to the correct depth and then uh, I'm going to make a straight cut down just to clean up the vertical side of the tooth. So that's what's going on. So I'm going to get going here and make some cuts on this tooth and, and so you can see what's happening. So anyway, I'm not sure how much to zoom in or whether I'm going to be in the way or not. So we'll see. <clears throat> I 
I think I'm probably going to be in the way from time to time here. But we're starting to we're starting to cut. We're going to go across, and I'm going to watch the stop because I don't want to bottom out here. Takes a few minutes per tooth. Goes along pretty quick. Oop, I bottomed out. Bad, bad, bad. Don't want to do that. into the nasty stuff where I bought them down there. I'm going to make a vertical cut just so you can see what's going on here. I'm going to go back up to the top. My arm's probably going to be in the way. If I stand up above things, you, I won't get in the way of the camera, but uh, I can't see what's going on either. Zoom out a little bit. I think I'm bound down to the bottom of the cut. I got a ways to go, but I'm about three quarters done with the cut. I'm guessing. You can see what's going on. 
not a lot of light down there but um, that's the, basically what I'm doing and um, so you know we'll get to the bottom of that cut I, I have a, a I, I, I can look at my vertical feet and see how far to go and like I say I have a stop set up on the other side of the carriage so I know how far to go in that direction and um, it's actually working out perfect I cut the first tooth and with no problem at all and I, I have I'm going down exactly a quarter of an inch two two hundred and fifty thousandths and um, so anyway I just wanted to show you what I'm doing I wanted to show you the little fixture and um, it is possible let me put it that way <laughs> I uh, let me go a little bit more here. Bottom of the cut here. Make sure. Yeah, pretty close. I use a little WD-40 on here. Here's some kind of cutting oil. Helps a little bit. This is 4130 steel that I'm cutting. So, whoops. I need to get rid of this. I'll need to make another vertical cut in the end I just wanted to do it on video because I, I know I'm not going to be able to finish this in the time allotted I like to keep these videos around under 10 minutes if possible out again. I'm going to zoom in again. <clears throat> okay. I don't know if I went down or not here. making kind of a shallow cut this time. <laughs> I uh, didn't know whether I'd moved it down or not. I'd forgotten. Oops, bottomed out. I try to watch that thing, but I'm not real good at it. Up. 
make another vertical cut just to clean it up. Pretty much done with the cut. I can check it here. That's pretty much it. I'll, I'll get a little more fussy before I rotate it, but uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's one tooth. Well, it is a little bit time consuming, but you can get the job done. So, let's see if I can. There's not much else I can show you from this angle. There's not a lot of light or something, I guess. It looks pretty dark. You can see that the little finale wheel has just got uh, 12 holes in it. That's all it is. A little piece of 8-inch uh, rod going through there. And um, that's all. I got a bunch of these star wheels I've been making. I've got the... <laughs> I kind of went crazy. Uh, there's a little piece of, little piece of uh, lead, lead screw there. And uh, you can see... I've got one in the... I've got one in the, um, in the shaper. I've got three there. I've got a couple blanks there. So... Um, I have a, I have several of them that are ten teeth, which advances, which causes the advancement to be more, and I got a couple of them that are twelve teeth. So, um, and the blanks, I'm thinking, I was thinking of making uh, one that had thirteen teeth, but uh, the engagement would be quite a bit smaller. So I'm not sure about that yet, but uh, and it's a, it's a thought. So I'll call off now and and uh, just wanted to post this short video and maybe we'll make a wrap once I get once I get this uh, star wheel all the all the teeth cut on it and um, and then I can take the fixture off and and show you in more detail but it's a pretty simple fixture so probably my explanation is plenty plenty good enough anyway I'll call off now thanks for watching sorry. I had to get in the way of the video, but uh, that's the way it is. It's, it's either that or um, I can zoom out, and that works better probably, but then you can't see what's going on. So, All right, thanks for watching. Bye.